Good morning and welcome to Shakespeare brought to you from ever beautiful Hudson, New York. Now, again, I can't go live today on this one and I'm sorry about that, but the Wi-Fi is being really weird. So I'm recording and then we'll upload. And we are still in Act 4, Scene 14 of Antony and Cleopatra. And we just got a little refresher reminder from Antony that he's mad at Cleo and he's maybe kind of sort of contemplating suicide because things are not going so well for him. And then Cleopatra's servant, Mardian, comes in and tells him that she's dead, which really she's not, but she wants to fake out Antony and make him think that she's dead because nothing says true love like faking your own death. So Mardian says he's dead, or she's dead, and Antony says, On arm arrows, the long day's task is done and we must sleep. That thou departst from hence safe does pay thy labor richly. Go. Off. Pluck off. The sevenfold shield of Ajax cannot keep the battery from my heart. Oh, cleave my sides. Heart, once be stronger than thy continent. Crack thy frail case. A pace, Eros, a pace, no more a soldier, bruised pieces go. You have been nobly born from me a while. I will lower take thee, Cleopatra, and weep for my pardon. So it must be, for now, all length is torture since the torch is out. Lie down and stray no farther. Now, all labor mars what it does, yea, very force entangles itself with strength. Seal then and all is done. Eros? I come, my queen. Eros, stay from me. Where souls do couch on flowers, we'll hand in hand, and with our sprightly port make the ghosts gaze. Dido and her Aeneas shall want troops, and all the haunt be ours. Come, Eros. Eros. And then tomorrow we get a little more drama as he tries to get somebody to kill him, and nobody wants to, so he tries to kill himself and doesn't do a very good job of it. Anyway. I'll see you tomorrow.